Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to use the TR mode. So let's go. So what is TR mode? Two smart mics, one as a signal transmitter and the other as a signal receiver. TR mode is suitable for scenarios where the Bluetooth connection of a smart mic plus cannot be applied. For example, if you are using a DSLR, you can only use TR mode because the DSLR does not support Bluetooth. Additionally, some live streaming applications are not compatible with Smart Mic Plus's Bluetooth, hence we will need to use TR mode. To set up TR mode, first turn off the Bluetooth of all nearby devices. Hold the power key for 10 seconds until the indicator light starts flashing red and green. Start the second Smart Mic normally. Once successfully paired, the two Smart Mic indicator lights will breathe in blue and green respectively. After setting TR mode successfully, if you want to connect to a camera, you will need to use this TRS cable. One end is plugged into the Smart Mic Plus and the other end is plugged into the 3.5mm mic port of the camera. To connect to a mobile phone, you need to use the TRRS cable, plug one end into the Smart Mic Plus and the other end into the mobile phone. There are two things to note for TR mode. Firstly, in addition to multi-level noise reduction as mentioned earlier, most of the Smart Mic Plus's effects, such as mixing, stereo, others, are required the use of the Smart Mic Plus app, and these cannot take effect in TR mode, even if you're connected to your mobile in TR mode. The Smart Mic Plus app only recognizes the Smart Mic Plus when it is connected via Bluetooth to your mobile phone. The advantage is that you use TR mode, there will no longer be any compatibility issues. The only exception is the native cameras of some mobile phones which do not support any external audio inputs. Other cameras, camcorders, and live broadcast platforms are all compatible. The second important note is that most mobile phones do not have a 3.5mm jack. For example, the iPhone requires a Lightning to 3.5mm adapter, and Android devices require a USB-C to 3.5mm adapter. Some brands provide official adapters when buying mobile phones, most of which can be used. But if you want to buy a third-party adapter, you must pay attention. This adapter must support calls. There are many adapters on the market that only support listening to songs, that is, it only supports sound output from your mobile phone, but not the input of external sounds, and these adapters cannot be used. Please pay close attention when buying a third-party adapter. Now you know how to TR mode on the smartphone app. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact support at sabinetech.com. Thanks for watching.